All right, guys, here I am in all of my dark circled, no makeup glory, because I'm finally going to do the Eau Maquillage foundation review. I have been wearing this foundation every day for the last week, and I've done a lot of trial and error with it. I, I've done the suggested. It comes with this really cool instruction card, and it tells you you're supposed to apply two pumps to your entire face. Um, I've done it as suggested. I've done it with a brush, with a sponge. Um, and I will say, first of all, two pumps for me is entirely way too much makeup. Like I ran out of space to put it. <laughs> so I opt to not use the two pump method. Um, but here we go. Let's try it out. All right. So I'm going to use my Zoeva. This is my 111 face finish brush. I actually love these brushes super duper soft uh i got them at sephora no sorry got them at ulta just kidding um i pump directly onto my brush it's just something i've always done i don't pump them to my face i think that's gross um and then i use this to buff and i go from there so really small you know a, a large piece size amount is what i'm starting with really so that first pea sized amount did pretty much all of the area under my eyes here, the bridge of my nose, and I just kind of feathered it out from there. I like the coverage. I do like the color a lot. Uh, that was something that was really surprising because they you do their color finder and it picks it for you. But it I think it did it does a great job of kind of evening out the darkness under my eyes. To the point where I've never been a huge concealer fan, to be quite honest. I'm just lazy. I'll do it when I have a makeup gig, but I won't do it on myself. So this, for me, covers enough of my darkness under my eyes that I'm comfortable going just this route. So my second pea-sized amount I do for the rest of my face. And really, when I it's, it's about a half a pump, really. I don't push the pump all the way down. And this I'm just going to blend out love the fluffiness of this brush i found it works with this foundation it works beautifully i did not enjoy using a blender with this foundation at all i felt like it sheared it out way too much and a buffing brush just it just did not mesh well you need i needed something a little fluffier and this one does the job um yeah so that's it. It's a it's about a one pump of product that gets me enough coverage where I'm really comfortable with this foundation cup amount of coverage on my skin. A couple of things I will say that I have not loved about this. So it doesn't play well with all primers. I have had a really hard time partnering it with different primers in my collection. Some of my favorites, it just doesn't work well with it. Uh, the same goes with certain moisturizers. So I tend to lean very dry, especially in the winter when the heat's going. And I will use hydrating primers or high or more rich creams. And this does not play well with very uh, rich creams and some lotions. So it really took some play for the first few days to figure out what was going to play well under this foundation, which was a little surprising. I really expected it for the price to kind of play well with others. And uh, I'm surprised it didn't. I did buy this foundation in the try it before you buy it. And the verdict is I am gonna keep it. Um, I really love the color. That's probably the hardest thing for me to match. I do like how it feels on my skin. Um, not when I use the full two pumps of product, they, they say, I feel like that starts to feel heavy, but in general, like the way it feels on my skin is good. It plays with the rest of my products. Well, it also has this kind of natural finish to it and I don't have to use a powder, which I don't use powders anyway. So any foundation that I have to pow set with a powder is just kind of no way for me. Um, so yeah, all in all, the verdict on Eau Maquillage, if you've been wanting to try it, you need a new foundation, go, I, I say go for it. I, I think most everybody will be very pleased. This is the woke up like this foundation from Eau Maquillage. I forgot to mention how it wears. I have been doing it for about a week now 
and I will say that the wear on the foundation is actually pretty darn good depending on what you put on before it. So when I wear it with my super dewy high gloss primer from Makeup Revolution, it feels like the makeup just slides right off my face. And this is the only foundation it's done it with so far. So really interesting. But when I do it like I did today with a nicely prepped skin, just moisturizer, and the foundation holds really, really well. I don't know what that says about somebody with oily skin. I would probably caution just from experience. Uh, I would say then that means that oilier skin is going to have a harder time holding on to this foundation. But if you're like me and you have drier skin, uh, this probably is going to work really, really well for you as far as a wear test.